In the race for the Republican presidential nomination that's just under three weeks to the Iowa caucuses, and as the time grows short, the knives get long. Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich, the front runners, went after each other today. First, we'll go to Romney. He talked with Jan Crawford here in New York today. Jan? Well, Scott, throughout the campaign, Romney generally hasn't responded to his Republican rivals. He's kept his focus on President Obama. But he's now taking aim at Newt Gingrich, and the word he used repeatedly in our interview today was unreliable. Newt Gingrich has been an unreliable leader in the conservative movement. Hi, how are you? Republicans doubting Romney's conservative credentials have recently turned to Gingrich as the true conservative. Today, Romney went on the offensive. I think people get to know that uh, an individual like myself, who's now been a governor, served, has a record, uh, is a person who has uh, uh, the kind of uh, a consistency on conservative principles that, that distinguish me from someone like uh, our speaker, Speaker Gingrich, who, uh, who has taken extraordinarily unusual positions uh, with, with regards to, uh, uh, to calling the, uh, the Medicare reform plan a, uh, a, a right-wing social engineering plan, suicide he's called it. Uh, th th this, is a, uh, this is a person who has a very questionable record when it comes to uh, leading conservative principles. How would you be different uh, as president? Well, I think government is way too large. But what do you I think, think Speaker Gingrich thinks? I think Speaker Gingrich has lived in Washington for the last 30 years. Uh, he went to Washington to, uh, to do good, and he stayed to do well. And by well, Romney is referring to the millions Gingrich made advising companies, including mortgage giant Freddie Mac. Uh, he's a wealthy man, a very wealthy man. Uh, if you have a half a million dollar uh, purchase from Stif uh, Tiffany's, uh, you're not an, a, a middle class American. Romney has said Gingrich should give the $1.6 million he made advising Freddie Mac back to the taxpayers, prompting Gingrich this week to take a shot at Romney for his work at the investment firm Bain Capital. If Governor Romney would like to give back all the money he's earned from bankrupting companies and laying off employees over his years at Bain, that I would be glad to then listen to him. That is a Democratic Party line of attack at you. Doesn't the speaker understand that not all businesses succeed? But fortunately, most of them uh, were able to be successful. So I'm proud of that record. And, and frankly, very surprised that he would attack conservatism. He would attack free enterprise. He would attack capitalism. This is a party that believes in free enterprise. Is he in the wrong party? Uh, well, it depends on the day. Uh, I, I just think he's, he's been unreliable in his support of, of conservative principles. Of course, some Republicans say Romney hasn't always supported conservative principles either. But Scott, he told me that he had learned from his experiences and he changed his mind uh, when he learned that he was wrong and that unlike Gingrich, he's been consistently conservative now for years. Two wealthy men calling each other rich. Jan, thanks very much.